Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton, and this is Charles Beeson. And today we are checking out a Patreon pick, and yeah. they were titled this Welcome to Hell, which is kind of making Musical Appreciation Month really hard on us. Yeah, it is. In April. Uh, we aren't into instrumentals. Nope. I don't know if this will be an instrumental, but I know Dream Theater is very good with their instruments. Yes. We're both lyric and vocal guys. And they're very, like, Dream Theater's an iconic band around a lot of the oh, people that I have. absolutely. I have a lot of respect around. for them. Yeah. It's just not my typical taste in music, right? Right. But our Patreon said, welcome to hell, knowing this is uh, our bane, and they're uh, hitting on it. And we would probably deserve for something we'd, we've done along the line. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And... In the words of your sweet, sweet wife. <laughs> yeah, that was Cassie. I just said, hey, we got to go out there. We got a 20 minute song to check out. Why the fuck's there a 20 minute song? Like, who would do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go in here open minded, as we yep. always do. Chuck, if you don't have an open mind with this, I'm going to have a fucking problem with you, okay? We're going to go in here. We're going to open minded. I, dude, I try to be as open minded as I can, even with stuff I know I'm going to hate. Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check it out, guys. We're gonna check out some Dream Theater. The Count of Tuscany. Count of Tuscany. Let's send it, bud. Let's do it. <laughs>
Does it feel like the vocal switch there started talking behind you? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, well, that was one hell of an intro, which I, I mean, obviously you knew was coming with yeah. 20 minutes song. I think it had to be right around that 420 mark, too. That, that, I, that's all I could say about I, that. I, <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I think you're actually right too. It was right around there. Yeah, if they did that, that'd be on hilarious. Purpose, it's fucking gold. <laughs> but, yeah, um, and obviously the instrumental work here is outstanding. Oh, dude, um, phenomenal. Vocally, I'm not a giant fan so far. Vocally, and honestly, the way these, the way it's just kind of, I don't know how to put it, but it's like short, choppy sentences too. So and I'm not a fan of quite a fan of yeah, that, but I the, like the vocals. I don't like the way they're delivered in that short the delivery. Nature. Maybe that's what I'm thinking too. Um, and I'm not. I'm so on the fence about the vocals that it just switched to. But with what I could tell so far, that storytelling ability is out of this world too. That is a story. If you could write a story like that. Do it for the whole song. Please. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not overly impressed by the lyrics thus far, to be 100% honest with you, but um, they're, they're definitely not terrible. They're yeah. not the worst thing I've ever seen. But the instrumental is outstanding here so far. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. And I like how it cues in, and you see a there's there's drums. And you, it really um, almost... Almost solos the drums, yeah. almost solos the bass, and definitely solos the guitar. Yeah. Yes. And that bitch is getting shredded. Yes, sir. Um, I don't know when we'll probably stop somewhere yeah. else, maybe a third of the way through here. Yeah. And then continue it out here. Yeah. Anything else you want to add before we start again? Nope.
Take a deep, deep, relaxing breath. No, bad idea. <laughs> I understand the name of the group. Definitely has a dreamy vibe right there, doesn't it?
All right. Uh, three quarters of the way. Th- or Yeah. Dude. Almost done with it. Dude. Um, so as soon as I was complaining about like not really digging the sound of the vocals, <laughs> immediately when we started up that next last time, I was like, okay, this is what I like. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this sounds good. And then it kind of went back to the similar style as the first part. Um, I, I don't think the lyrics are terrible, but uh, they just aren't kind of capturing me at all. Uh, the instrumentals capturing me more than the lyrics are. Just to be 100% honest with you. Which is fair. Um, I was really liking, during that first section, the storytelling. Because it, it felt like he was starting to Go tell somewhere. a story. Yeah. And it was going to progress. And then they went to the white and basement. <laughs> then it kind of did progress a little. But it didn't progress a lot. But it got a little more rhythmic as well in the lyricism itself. And the vocals and delivery, I should say. Yeah. Of that. Now, mind you, I will 100% say, mm-hmm. instrumentally, this is insane. It, it really is. And what the hell was that? I all right. You know what I'm talking about. So, I believe it's just a guitar. <laughs> just another layering. Um, well, it's really impressive with these headphones. They catch a lot of stuff you wouldn't catch in typical yeah. listening. And it just sounds like the band's all around you. And yeah. like there's like instruments playing up here that aren't playing back here. And there's other instruments. It's wild. Yeah. So if you guys have head, uh, headphones in your into the dream theater, you should definitely check this out with headphones. Yeah. It's impressive. Now, that being said, this dreamy part right here is making me sleepy. Dude, for real. You yawned and I've been fighting off yawn since. I'm not going to lie to you. Dude. I, I, just, I just yawned because of you. You're, I'm sitting here and I'm like, of shit. honestly, and this is the perfect, this is perfect, go to bed right there, take a nap music. Really? Not to be, not to sound like, make it sound like it's a bad thing, so, because it's so not. You're, so you're saying the song is boring as hell? No. Is what I'm getting I'm saying that. the atmosphere that I'm getting around me right now. Right in this section? Is just like is, lulling me. It's almost, it's almost lullaby. It's almost like embracing. Yeah. Like it's like. Almost like a comforting. hug. Comforting and relaxing. A hug from a nice, cool summer's night with the stars all around you. That is the feeling I get right there. For one, I got to say I love it because you always make fun of me for saying like things, relating things to uh, like weather. Yeah. And you just went and did exactly what I do. I know. You did it good, too. You did it good. Yeah, I can see that 100%. <laughs> yeah. So far, that's not too bad. It, you know you know what I mean. Yeah. It is not. Instrumentally, it's fantastic. It's honestly, I see, I see a 19-minute, 17-second song, and I'm like, uh, and I'm not upset that I'm hearing it. And we're almost 14 minutes in. We're almost done. Well, I'll see how I feel about it at the end here. Yes. Uh, this, uh, let's continue. An acoustic pickup? Like I was like, is that an acoustic vibe? What, what's happening? <laughs> Could this be the end? Is this the way I die? Sitting here alone No one by my side I don't understand I don't feel that I deserve this What did I do wrong? 
I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Give me one more chance. Let me please explain. It's all been circumstance. I'll tell you once again. You took me for a ride, promising a vast adventure. Next thing that I know, I'm frightened for my life. Now wait a minute, man. That's not how it is. You must be confused. That is a It's a Babylon Brook. I was going to say, this is nature. <clears throat> okay. I'm here for it. You know me and nature sounds. I like uh-huh. it. I like it. I think that I understand emotions. <laughs> 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 I think I understand emotions now. Oh. And this took me on a roller coaster. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude. Well, it was telling me a story about how he didn't want to die. Right? Okay. And then it had that moment of peace and serenity within that section where I compared it to a cool summer's night. Mm-hmm. Peace and serenity. And then, as it built and built and built from there, it was like, tell the world my story, and it will be an epic one. And it just built up, and it's like, yeah. And then they didn't tell you the story. Yep. 
was like, oh, cool. This is about a story about a guy who wants to tell you a story that won't tell you the fucking story. <laughs> that's the whole time. That's what I was thinking. But you went real detailed on the fucking wine in the cask. <laughs> you, yeah. It's not like you didn't have enough time. No. <laughs> No. And then and then you hit us with the babbling brook because it's the peace after death. I'm telling you, this is... Oh, I felt the emotion from it. Now listen, 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 listen. Instrumentally, this is fantastic. I've never had an instrumental talk to me. You see what I'm saying about the instrumental occasionally talking to you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This this this, this might be the first time. Probably because you were actually forced to sit here and listen through one. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, while I find the instrumental fantastic, I do find the story writing meh. Um, the first portion of the song before we stopped, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was bored out of my mind. The second swath definitely was better for me. And then I love the chill atmospheric music before we paused again. And the last part, that was masterpiece material. Yeah. No. But the problem is there's no way I'm going to listen to a 20 minute song to get to that masterpiece material. Nope. I will fully agree. That first section, now don't get me wrong, I, there were bits and pieces I could pick out that I enjoyed, including I liked how it felt like they were about to tell me a story. Yeah. Um, but again, as you said, I was bored. Yeah. I can appreciate the music, appreciate the instrumental. The instrumental is absolutely nuts. It really is. It really is. And I think if you're an instrumental person, this is going to blow you out of the fucking water. Absolutely. And I also believe that this is a song that somebody like me or you is going to listen to two, three, maybe four times. And that is to get that feeling. And I understand just once. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but there is no chance that I will be able to listen to this casually. No. Not a chance. No, that and our rating long, scale is very casually based. Um, long, long songs like this, I typically listen to them one time. Yep, and then I get the gist of them, and they normally stick with me for a while. Yep. My feelings on them. There's an Iron Maiden song that I think I t told you about that was about uh, 30 minutes long, which yeah. I thought was probably going to get thrown at us, which I was sweating bullets because I was like, that would have been interesting because I've already heard that one. Yeah, um, and it's fantastic, but I don't want 30 minutes of my playlist wrapped up around one song. Right. Because uh, I'll get bored by yeah. the end of it. Oh, yeah. I like the constant three-minute shuffle. Boom. Five-minute yeah. shuffle. Even, like I said, the last if they would have took the last six, six minutes of this song and made it its own song, that's in the eights for me. I'm going to personally state I feel like the last ten minutes of this song. Oh, sure. Because uh, you could hit me with that, that peace and serenity feel. Yes. And I'm oh, all for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Opening as an opening. Open that open the song with that peace and serenity and then have it build from there throughout the rest of the song. Just to get your get the emotions trickling because that peace and peace peaceful area, that's what ignited the the thinking process for you. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it ignited a lot of different just feelings and different things going on in my head. And I really enjoyed that part yes. a lot. And the vocals. Now looking back, I was not a fan when it first started. Of oh, the pieces right? anything? Yes. Yeah. And without the rest of the song, I don't like that part. Hmm. But with the rest of the song and tying it all together, I'm just like, huh. Oh. I really loved his vocals there at the end, too. With the oh, yeah. acoustic buildup off of that Serenity area, that was beautiful. And then his vocals hitting right there throughout the rest of the song, fan-fucking-tastic. I loved it. Dude, I went full like surrender that, on that because the, I'm like, did they just give me a little bit of country in this song? Jesus just no. just gave me no, a country didn't. vibe with the acoustic and the not. vocals, and it was beautiful. And I'm like, yes, I that's think, what I want. I think you're thinking rock. No. Yeah, I'm not. rock. I'm not thinking. There was right. definitely not a country influence on their track. No, no, no. He's probably influenced country. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> well, I don't think this particularly because country maybe not before them, but maybe acoustic. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I like. Mm. It. I do too, but I don't get country. I think you just insulted it by calling it country. A small section. Leave me alone. To a metal song. This is metal. Yeah. This didn't feel like metal at all. Yeah, this is metal. 
I didn't get metal from it. This is metal. <laughs> Dream Theater is a metal band, but I didn't get metal from it. I cannot mosh to this. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> no shit. Uh, progressive metal. Interesting. <laughs> Chuck. This doesn't fit metal for me. Yeah. Um, and, and another issue this I have with everything. giant songs is there's always areas that I dislike. Yeah. And they don't interest me. And then there's areas that I love in the song. Yeah. So it's like, ah, like it drives me nuts. Mm -hmm. Now, rating wise for this song, I'm actually going to go with 6.2 because the second half of the song was fantastic. Now, this is not going in a playlist. I'll be 100% honest with you. And if it wasn't for that last half, this would be more in the four range. I'm going to be completely honest. Casual rating is what I do my ratings on, just straight up. This is going to get a 3.9. That's simply for casual. If this is as far as, you know, hearing it once or twice all together and just getting into the music, this is going to be more like that, you know, upper 7, 8 range. Just because this is, it's very well done. It's really nice, and it really gets... A lot of the emotions flowing throughout the song and even the instrumentals telling you a story. But again, casual listening rating for me. See, I no. think I've stopped doing that kind of, I think I started doing with the casual rating. I started just yeah. doing playlist because that's my real casual. Yeah. Rating. I mean, you really have like, I, I'm like, there's definitely songs I still don't like, but like with this, it's kind of hard because there's so much. Right. And that's intricacy that, put yeah. into it. Oh yeah. And that's something that, I am still kind of stuck in. I have to give that, that my casual rating, and that's my problem. That's all. Yeah, I just feel like it's repetitive, you know? And the more I thought about it, the more that's why I kind of stopped doing it. Yeah. Because you're, like, giving it a casual rating and then a casual rating. Your playlist is your casual rating. Oh, yeah. Because is it going to the playlist or is it not going to the playlist? Because my casual rating or my listening. Yeah. Because there's been a lot of songs that are like, wow, I really respect it. Yeah. But I don't want to listen to it in casual radio. This. <laughs> yes. This would be a good example. <laughs> yes. This would be a really good example. <laughs> this is the perfect example. Yes. Ah, man. Because I have mad respect for this song. I really did enjoy this song. 20, yeah. It's a but big I, chunk. I, I don't want it to come on in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah. If I'm on a 10-hour drive and this is going to take up a 20-minute portion of it, it's not going to be good, especially that peaceful part. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Patreon. <laughs> well done. Well done. You made Chuck feel for the first time. <laughs> you made me feel feelings. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Well, if you made it this far, you guys can do us a favor and smash that like button if you enjoyed our reviews and reactions. Yeah. You're... Uh, you enjoy our content hit that subscribe button and uh, if you want to mess with us drop in the comments who gets that brain cell there's only one so yep. it's got to be one of us joel norden charles beeson till next time guys peace out peace out